head or behind, if you have stage, you're always ahead. And over ahead of in our, exact, our next match, we have Slingshot and Booty. Slingshot doing very well these past few Xenos and anyway points, of course. Getting second last week as well uh, versus numbers getting uh, over over achieving him and getting first last week over a slingshot. Yeah, slingshot is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Picking up this Diddy uh, only recently and just yep. well recently in terms of the macro. Yeah. <laughs> He's been playing this character for a bit and finally starting to reap the rewards and honestly good. Like I'm really I'm really glad to see a lot more Diddy Kongs. Really glad to see more players. Uh, show off how many different styles of play Diddy Kong can uh, facilitate. Mm -hmm. Just as the same as Cloud can be, where you can play the, a kind of aggro style Cloud using Limit aggressively and trying to go air to air with these massive swords, or you can play the back air game. Yeah, of course, I completely agree with everything you said. Honestly, I'm, I'm loving all these Diddy's that are now coming out and showing out how different Diddy can be and how that banana play also is such a humongous thing for Diddy in general. That just setting it up on that platform is so smart for a slingshot in order to make sure they make to kind of close out and cl and almost like make booty claustrophobic in order to really zone out where he's going to go because he can't go on the platform or he'll get flipped or uh, tripped and he can't just like that there that monkey play exactly what he needs and also monkey flip is so, so, so important for a slingshot yeah, we're seeing a bit of an even game thus far. No, none of them trying to commit too hard, but that mm -hmm. up smash, perhaps looking for a roll of a jump of his own, but unable to make it back, allow, forcing Booty to use that limit. And without limit, Cloud becomes a little bit floatier, allowing yep. that down to up smash the combo. And not as scary as well. Once that limit oh, totally. is gone, nah, it's just not much of a threat. But you know what? It's a threat that did up smash. That slingshot is so good at predicting where you're going to be on that platform in order to use that up smash in order to take out games. So here we go. Slingshot getting a great mile extra credit for himself in the event that he does use his stock. And we have also great slingshot ledge play as well, which I really want to see more of that he's really good at, you know, uh, singling out. Yo, Booty just took 74 for trying to grab banana. That That's the thing you can't do. You can't grab the banana. Well, he successfully grabbed it and, and Slingshot obliterated him for it. <laughs> He's and, <laughs> like, putting him behind putting Cloud so far behind the eight ball, but that forward air landing fair plus on shield. Uh, when, once you account things like shield drop and yep. being able to be actionable, thus that up smash came out and Booty does it puts him in a position to try and make this back, but that was a little bit overzealous. Maybe he was looking for an up air out of shield instead. I, I up so, but yeah. that that was a real risky climb hazard. That one though, that, that was a good call. Good. Climb has it's one of those tools that is so a lot of Cloud's tools is so multifaceted, where you can just like I'm up being a, a aggressively, preemptively, defensively, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have to find many ways to use Cloud's tools, just like you have to find many ways to recover with this character. Yeah, the ledge snap just enough. He was he's so Cloud is a vertical recovery and is not even like that far for the most part. He has almost no drift when he does do his upbeat recovery. So you'd be very precise when you are going off of knowing exactly how far you have to go in order to get back on the stage safely. But you know, but Slingshot doesn't have that problem with Diddy. Uh, Diddy just has that, those jetpacks he can control for the most part where he wants to go and also has really great range. Very, very, very desperate use of the limit right there, hoping for some shield pressure or a dropping nice. of the shield. I was going to be nice and say overzealous, but you're right. No, it was, it was desperate. <laughs> I, I, it was definitely a desperate attempt. You know, try, just trying to predict when he was going to drop shield, but you know, good on Slingshot for not dropping that shield on that limit right then and there. Yeah, if one of the things that I love with other cloud players when I watch them is that they treat limit like a tax. It's yep. like, all right, if you're not going to approach, if you're going to take this game real slow, then I'll charge limit, and that's going to be my punish. And that will be damage, but it will be beneficial all the same. Yeah. I want to see more of that from Booty, where it's like, hey, Slingshot, you're chilling out here. In the corner, of course, you want to be throwing out those back airs. But in center stage, if he's chilling out, if he's pulling banana, charge limit. Like, you don't always need to try and pressure, though Cloud does have an amazing approach with that shield. There it is. Though, once again, Booty getting a little bit overzealous, a little bit yeah. desperate with some of these pods and with some of these uh, climb hazards, getting hard punished in turn. And I think you're, what you're saying was actually completely true about Booty's Cloud in general. He does tend to not use the, that Cloud advantage of just charging limit as a threat mostly. It's a very threatening tool that Cloud has uh, that other people don't. He has three kind of limit options, you know, uh, the, the, you know the limit options. Yeah. And the big ones. The, the, big. the big ones. The big, the big you know, big the scary big. ones. Yeah. And he just didn't use it to his advantage as often as he did. And when he did use them, he either got them whiffed or uh, Slingshot just shooted through most of them as much as he could and avoided them. So I'm really hoping to see Booty use that limit charge as much as he at better uh, at better times rather than what he was doing earlier by just kind of 
constantly approaching, 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 Three, and now just two, chilling back a little one, bit. Wins. Devil. Kazuya, I miss you. Come back. I, I need Kazuya players. I love watching Kazuya, but Kazuya, Kazuya is Kazuya is fun to watch. He is wild in the same way that uh, that Cloud can be, and the, and, the, and that Diddy can be. Look at that, 69% immediately. Nice, nice. Oh, let's go! Let's <laughs> be friends. I'll be friends. <laughs> but right now, going over to a small battlefield for uh, for Booty's counter pick. Uh, trying to once again poke, gathering that banana very safely and holding on to limit, letting up, uh, letting up air linger. But Slingshot, he, I, I understand what Booty's going for here, right? He's trying to force Slingshot to linger on the platforms, but that's a forward that's air it. and that's a dead cloud. Yeah, no jump and that reco that very limited recovery that uh, Cloud has, definitely death. And that's what Slingshot's going to be using to advantage as much as he can. He knows Cloud does not have a great recovery horizontal-wise, so just push him off his stage as much as he can when he has no jump. Yeah, to the point where you can body block yep. Cloud even and force him into just unrecoverable scenarios. But another up air. It's interesting because we're watching Booty trying to feed into it and gets a decent amount of damage by forcing Slingshot into um, onto platforms. But Slingshot's still willingly going to platforms to get out of disadvantage because he knows that Diddy's runoff platform game is amazing. Mm -hmm. And that Booty's never been able to reliably find kills off of it. Wow, they're using it. Oh, and shooting through the force match, getting over into the uh, punish right there for slingshot. And Booze has really is dangerous percentage right now. He keeps, like you're saying, we're seeing Diddy use these platforms to to a way that most people likely were not expecting. He's using that platform kind of set up banana as much as he could, and using the under platform, the under like main, main stage as his uh, fighting zone. Yeah, it is. This stage really feels like it is so. F it's really hard for Booty to maintain that stage control. Partially, oh, that was a really great, uh, really, really great limit cross flash. Uh, trying to feign taking stage ends up getting the limit blade. Uh, excuse me, the limit blade beam uh, as a means to take that stop. It feels like Booty is starting to skip a step with some of their offense, and that is the step that they are recovering from. Back air. Cloud back air is a house. It is a move that it is almost his win condition even. And Booty in a lot of offensive scenarios is looking to instead uh, try and space out things like forward air and is missing the uh, how much advantage back air provides. Still calling out that monkey flip. That was this really could be good. huge. But again, looking for forward tilt instead of trying to set up for a back air and get a very hard punish for it. Yeah, I agree. Right now we have, you know, Booty's had a very dangerous situation against Slingshot. We have uh, Booty for 40%, one stock left, and he's struggling trying to get a lot of these over, I'm going to use your word, overzealous. Uh, switch, uh, moves that no, there's no way. Uh, no, I think yeah. The once you air dodge off stage as cloud, it's almost death, honestly. Yeah, air the, dodging the, without his jump, and I want to look at this. He so had see, limit, but I think just the, the right there would um, not have been enough. You know what's funny? What's I up? think uh, let me. I'm trying to see this spacing again because they get limit from this back air, double jump used, another oh, forward so air, there's no and, jump. I, and the air dodge is used like here. Actually, let's just let me just play this at half speed. I think if air dodge was used as normal cloud here, mm -hmm. I think they make it. Yeah. Cloud being getting an extra uh, boost in fall speed thanks to the uh, limit, limit being charge. on deck sends cloud at more like this angle. Yeah, which and, is, and that's you know, that little li the little bit you really need. A and then difference. the end of air dodge, uh, the air animation for air dodge, just did not allow that extra height from the limit uppy to let him to come back from let them come back on stage. So really unfortunate for Booty in that situation. And oh, yeah. great for slingshot going over uh, moving throughout winners. And you know we're also gonna be moving throughout casters. Oh, sad. Change, but you, you you'll stay of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> and it was always nice to uh, commentate with you really quickly. Uh, before we uh, go, really quick ads right now. We have we are Zeno Weekly every Wednesday. Venues eight dollars, entry seven dollars. Follow House of Three Thousand at Twitch 